Arg mates, welcome back to another Minecraft video, where today is day 3 of Mod Mayhem, where I'll be uploading a new Macho Case every single day for the next week to celebrate hitting 100,000 bloodies. Mod Mayhem, and you might notice that I'm not at the usual Mod Showcase house, and that's because today we have the Shipwreck Mod, which adds in a bunch of new world generation stuff. As you can see, I'm surrounded by shipwrecked ships all around me, so yeah, we're going to be going over this mod today, but before we get into it, make sure to go pound the like button if you are enjoying Mod Mayhem as much as I am. Personally, I think we should get 200 likes on this episode. That would be flipping amazing, but yeah, I have my diver suit on, and I am just ready to go. So yes, this is a really awesome mod that adds in the ability to spawn in a bunch of ships around your world now these aren't like regular ships you can drive around uh, it's kind of almost like ruins of ships because you know you can kind of loot them and there's also uh, piranhas that guard them and there's just a lot of things in this mod that are pretty dang cool so yeah we're gonna be going over some stuff today but without further ado let's get out Franklin's question of the day Franklin's not here today yeah I left him back in the mod showcase house because I didn't think that he would want to be out in the water and Pat's you know same thing with him so yes what is your favorite treasure now personally mine is my computer it's my baby i really love it a lot that's my most valuable possession that i own and i just really love it it's a super cool computer and i use it to make all the videos for you guys and yeah that that's that's my baby right now that's my that's my own personal treasure so yeah make sure to go put whatever treasure you have you know it could be you know your own computer it could be you know a favorite lollipop that you got from third grade i i don't have one of those no Psh, what but anyway yeah let's get into this mod so the first thing that i want to go over is the different types of ships i believe right now i am on a sailboat so yeah let's go around and see if we can find some other ones but first things first we're gonna need to put on our diving suit now the craft recipes for this are on the site so make sure to go check it out in the description down below it's pretty simple to craft i think it's some diamonds and some emeralds and some other stuff like that so yeah it's not really too difficult but uh yeah it will eventually run out over time which is kind of neat it's pretty dang realistic so yeah we can go around right here i believe that this is a sloop now uh they go in names by sizes so yeah this might be a sloot or a schooner i'm not entirely sure if i'm even pronouncing that right but yeah let's just kind of loot it out uh it's really cool because when you have this diving uh suit on when you just have the helmet on you get night vision but when you have the whole entire suit on you can actually breathe underwater so if i were to go into game mode zero i shouldn't lose any uh bubbles yeah see look i'm not losing bubbles but the durability will eventually start going down so yeah anyway let's go back into game mode one just so i can fly around a little bit simpler because this does give me a slowness four actually if i'm not in creative mode which kind of sucks but yeah anyway uh in these dispensers you'll find any from fire charges to arrows so yeah the sunken ships are really great for farming arrows and for some reason you'll get this thing that says like zero arrows i'm not entirely sure what you can do with it see like i just like threw it out and nothing really happens so yeah, i'm not entirely sure if that's like a bug or something but uh you also might be noticing that there are a crap ton of ships around now that is because i actually edited it in the config because uh, i wanted to be able to show you guys all the different kinds of ships but yeah normally you're only going to get like maybe one per chunk uh maybe like every six chunks you'll find a new ship and then the bigger the ship the actual uh, rarity of the ship goes up so yeah a big one like this this might actually be a schooner or a, even a wave runner this one you're not going to find very often because the loot gets a lot better when you find a bigger ship and also uh the amount of loot is actually greater so yeah as you can see there's a bunch of dispensers and each one has a little bit of arrows in it so you can get a few stacks of arrows on here uh there's also a below deck down here if we could just kind of explore there's some beds and stuff there should be some chests but it's kind of covered with gravel so yeah we could just keep looking around at the different types of ships so yeah so far we found a sailboat kind of like this sailboats are actually pretty neat they come with uh, a lot of different loot you can get like an iron sword an iron chest plate i found a diamond in one of them which is kind of neat so yeah there actually might be a diamond in this one i forget if i looked in this one yeah this is the one with the diamond so yeah there's a um, different rarity of items spawning in different types of sailboats and different boats and stuff like that so yeah that's the sailboat let's see if i can find a rowboat lying around here now this might be another sloop or a schooner i'm not entirely sure yet i'm still you know getting my boating license and stuff like that so yeah i I believe this one if i remember from the pictures on the forum page this one is a sloop now this one is tinier than a schooner but bigger than a sailboat and look at this look at this slowness that i have on me this is me just walking regularly this is me trying to run so yeah this one will come with a bunch of arrows on it and let's see if we can get below deck is there below deck anywhere yes there is awesome so yeah some of the ships will be on top of the water some of them will be underneath some of them will be like beached so yeah it really depends on the different rarity and stuff like that so yeah here we have an iron axe uh let's see we 
we have some nice food. Uh, let's see, what else we have? We actually have an ender pearl, some iron leggings. So yeah, you can find anything from like blocks of gold and diamond in some of these. Do you know anything down from like leather to food and other stuff like that? So yeah, let's see if we can find a robo here. Here, this is a robo. Now robo is the most common type. I believe this is actually a tipped over sailboat. So yeah, that's kind of neat how they can like flip over. But yeah, this is just a regular sailboat. They don't come with anything. They're just kind of basic, you know, pieces of wood just lying around. This one's an upside down one. Now here's a random chest that I guess uh, came with one of these ships. I don't know if there's a ship underneath it or something like that. But yeah, you actually got some obsidian and iron pickaxe, which is kind of neat. <laughs> we got some skellies. I think it's actually nighttime right now. So yeah, this one, it's like a sideways sailboat. So yeah, they come in all different shapes and sizes and you know, they're all over the place. Like look, this one's cap size is underground. Let's see if we can find a wave runner. Now I think that this one, yeah, this huge one is a wave runner, which is kind of neat. This one comes with so many different dispensers that you could get stacks upon stacks of arrows. It's pretty dang awesome, but for this one, if you want to explore all of it, you're definitely going to need to craft this diver suit because you're going to need a limited breath to be down here for long periods of time, and you're also going to need the night vision. Now, I think there's a sailboat just lying around in here. That's kind of neat. All right, let's see if we can get even more below deck. Jeez, oh my gosh, it goes so deep. All right, uh, let's see. Can I get into this level? There we go. Is there any chest in this level? There probably is somewhere, but we're probably... Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, this one looks like a food storage place, so yeah, I'm not really going to find anything too good. I found an iron axe. So yeah, this one can have anything from like diamonds to food to all the different stuff. So yeah, it's kind of neat how this mod works and you can uh, do the rarity and stuff of the different items that you can get in the config file. So now uh, I think we've seen pretty much every ship. We've seen some schooners, some sloops, some sailboats, some wave runners, uh, some shipwrecks. And also uh, there was a cool thing that I found over here that was like a unique item. I think that uh, I found a captain's log somewhere over here. Now uh, it might've been below deck. Let's just go check that out real fast because I thought that was kind of neat. I think this, yeah, I marked it with gold. All right, so let's go check down below deck now. I think I found it in here. Yeah, yeah, a captain's log. So I thought this was kind of neat. It's Sabrina written by Captain Martin. So yeah, I thought this was kind of neat. Uh, day one, after three months in port, I am hesitant to start our voyage. Recent reports of pirates have made the safety of the fort here seem inviting. However, our cargo has finally arrived and we must set sail. Day 12, an uneventful journey so far. Winds have been calm throughout the voyage, uh, should have been over by now, but we aren't even halfway there. Day 17, we caught our first glimpse of a pirate today, a black sail on the horizon. They didn't see us, at least they didn't pursue us. Day 20, We've had a pirate following us for the past few hours. We outgunned them, but they are in a far faster ship. Hopefully they don't have friends nearby. That was the last we heard of Captain Martin. Sadly, I guess Captain Martin died from the shipwreck and, you know, he kind of couldn't uh, fend himself from it. Sad, poor Captain Martin had to die. See, look, his ship got exploded right here. Poor guy, poor guy. He, he was a good dude. I think I knew him personally. So yeah, he was a nice captain. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything to do with this mod. We have a whole bunch of different kind of ships. Like, look at this one. This one's on top of another ship because like I edited the rarity and I probably shouldn't have done that because crap like this happens. We have just like a beached wave runner right there. And uh, yeah, there's one more thing that I would like to show you before we end this off. And that is the piranhas. So these should spawn naturally around the ships. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I'm just not seeing them yet or, uh, you know, something is wrong with this version of the mob yeah i really haven't seen them spawn naturally but uh, it says on the mod forum page that there could be up to like 20 surrounding a wave runner so yeah they're these little little tiny fish that when they all swim together like you'll find a pack like this lying around hopefully in like future updates and they will just eat the crap out of you they do one damage but you know with all of them trying to hit you it would be dang crazy so yeah let's go see if it works let's just go game with zero and see will they will they try and get me oh here they come yeah yeah they do a lot of damage especially when i'm wearing the dive suit which is actually not bad all right so let's see if i can punch him away all right i don't think this will come on land after me so let's see can i can i get away uh come on no back up back up oh my gosh look at it there's so flipping many oh yeah i'm dead Oh, God, yeah, see, look, in a group, they are just crazy good. Oh, my gosh, that was actually kind of crazy. But, yeah, guys, we are out here in the middle of nowhere. I'm going to end off this mod showcase before I die from, like, a creeper or something. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy day three of Mod Mayhem. I thought I would throw in an ocean-type mod in there because, I mean, I haven't really seen anything that good in a while. So, yeah, I thought this one was definitely worthy of a shout-out. So, yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. Nonetheless, make sure to go pound the like button and also answer Franklin's question of the day down in the comment section below. But without further ado, my name is Beckbro Jack, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye.